So Theresa May continues to show why she would be a terrible prime minister. Here's what she said at a recent campaign stop. And I mean doing more to restrict the freedom and movements of terrorist suspects when we have enough evidence to know they are a threat, but not enough evidence to prosecute them in full in court. And if, if our human rights laws stop us from doing it, we'll change the laws so we can do it. So there's Theresa May openly advocating for changing human rights laws so that they could so that they could properly catch terrorists. Now, this is this is exactly what the terrorists want. This is what Theresa May and and many conservatives don't understand. Terrorists want you to change your way of life. They want you to stoop to their level. If that's what you're doing, then we've lost. It's over. The terrorists won. And she's openly advocating for this. And it's 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 one thing to catch her saying this accidentally on a on a at a campaign rally or something, but no, she posted this on her Twitter page. She was proud of this message. She's using this as a way for people to come out and vote for her. If there's one thing that has to stay intact for developed countries to remain developed countries, it's to keep human rights laws. It's to uphold the laws of our system that treats everyone equally. If you don't have that, then you're no longer a developed country. So there couldn't be a more stark contrast between Theresa May and Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn is someone who actually stands up for those in need, who actually cares about everybody, who actually cares about equal opportunity, who actually wants to keep UK safer, and who actually cares enough to show up to a debate. Theresa May didn't even show up to her debate for the election that she called. And it's probably because of moments like this, because she would likely say something stupid like she said in this video. So I think Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party are clearly the better choice over Theresa May and the Tories. But I guess we're going to find out because the election is on Thursday. So we're going to see what happens.